Hey friends, Fox here coming at you with another video. Today we're talking about bushcraft on a budget. Y'all, bushcraft doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, there are a lot of items on the market now for bushcraft and if you're just getting into hiking, camping, or bushcraft, uh, don't feel like you have to spend a ton of money. Uh, again, there are a lot of great options on the market for not that much money and i'm just going to cover a few things now this is not everything you might need for bushcraft it's not everything you might need for hiking or camping but these are some essential tools you, you're probably going to get anyways so you might as well get a halfway decent one uh, but you don't have to pay a lot um, one option here for a knife would be a mora this is a mora companion made in sweden now these things are awesome I keep one of these in each one of my vehicles. Carbon steel, they also make these in stainless steel. Uh, great handle, very grippy, very comfortable, looks nice. Uh, blades very, very, very sharp right from the factory. And uh, it's also extremely um, reflective. So I mean, you could even use that in a survival situation if you had to. More a companion. It's got a little hole here on the bottom of the sheath so that you can uh, wear it, you know, if you're in the water or something like that, it'll just drain right out. And if you had the stainless model, you wouldn't even have to worry about rusting. This model would be fine too, you just dry it off. But Mora Companion, uh, this is another Mora knife here. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller, very similar, big grippy handle, very nice. It'll do pretty much all the bushcraft tasks you're gonna need to do. Um, but whether you pick the Companion or if you pick the red handled model, uh, the one on the left here is about uh, $10, and uh, the Companions run about $15 or $20. So for $20, a Swedish knife, that's a great start to your camping, hiking, or bushcraft needs. And, and both of these knives are very light. Now, y'all, I'm going to do another video of what I carry right now. Uh, I've carried mowers in the past. Um, but I'm going to do a separate video of all the tools that uh, I like to carry when I do bushcraft and when I go out hiking and camping. And uh, this is a backhoe Laplander. Now you're gonna need a saw. This is a folding saw, very big, about a seven, eight inch blade. Uh, cut much wood with this. And honestly, uh, if you're in the backwoods especially, a saw is gonna be a lot safer than say a, a hatchet or an ax. Uh, if I had to pick and I was by myself, if I could get by with it, I'd probably just take a nice saw like the backhoe Laplander a uh, Swiss Army knife and a Mora knife. That'd be a great, a great three, three, three cutting implements uh, that you could bring with you. Uh, now, obviously, you have different hatchets and axes. This one's old. This was just borrowed at a hardware store. This was actually a hand-me-down. I don't really use this one. It's not very sharp. Um, some people like a, an axe or a hatchet. And I'll do another bushcraft video of what I'm currently carrying, and I'll show you what I carry to fill that need when you do need to split wood or something that you don't want to do with a saw. But a simple hatchet, you can buy these uh, all over the place. It might be a great option if you want to split some wood. Uh, I personally would pick the Swiss Army Farmer. This is the farmer here. I'll do another video on this as well, but basically between the awl, the knife blade that I just showed you, and of course the, uh, the small saw. So if you lost your backhoe laplander, at least you have a backup saw. Um, also has a can opener and a bottle opener. But you put this in your pocket, you put a nice mower on your belt, and then you have a saw or a hatchet or an ax. You're pretty good with cu cutting implements. Um, these run about $35, $40 right now. Uh, and last a lifetime, you can hand it down. Uh, you know, of course, you got other pocket knives, compass. Um, this is a fire starter. Now, I've got a few things out here. You could just use the old, uh, the old ladder. Uh, you could use matches, both very inexpensive, you know, a dollar or less each in most cases. Uh, but this is what I like to bring with me at all times. And I have the lighter in my pocket as part of, part of my EDC. But this is a Light My Fire Fire Steel by, uh, by, by Light My Fire, made in Sweden. Another great piece of kit. Uh, not very expensive. When I bought this, it was about $12 or $15. I haven't looked. They might have gone up. Uh, but, you know, you got your ferro rod and your striker. The striker does have a built-in whistle, and it's, it's pretty loud. And super ergonomic, super comfortable, super lightweight. Uh, this can get your fire started, uh, you know, pretty easily. So you need a you need a fire starter. You're going to need some cordage, a pair of cords, relatively inexpensive. 
And uh, one more thing, these you can buy at any kind of Army Navy store, use surplus store, you can buy them online. Um, canteen, pretty standard GI issue, everybody knows about these. You can store your water in here, and then you can cook in a pot, or if you find some water, like in a creek, for example, uh, you fill this up, purify it, uh, you can filter it either with coffee filters, you can filter it with a bandana. If you, if you have a bandana, I just keep this bandana with this set, and uh, you filter all the bad stuff out of it, boil it, and the water should be safe to drink in most cases. Of course, if you have a, a life straw or another water filter, you can also use that. But you can also use this to cook up some soup or some supper. Put some supper in that, because that'll go right on the fire. And these, these you know, go together. Uh, if you've got it filled with water, great. If you don't have water yet, you could even put some other items in here to save space. But this is just basic bushcraft on a budget. A few good things. Pick up yourself a nice quality fire steel that'll last a while. Pick up a nice pocket knife. Uh, can't beat can't beat a mora, especially for the price. And pick up a nice saw. Backo Laplander. Now, if you didn't want a Backo Laplander, uh, there's even less expensive models like this uh, Friskers. I didn't like this Frisker saw, and I wouldn't buy it again personally. Uh, the, the backhoe is just so much better. And again, I'll do another video and show you all what I'm carrying, and and, and some of this will be uh, somewhat repeated maybe, but the, the thing is um, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get something quality. That's the bottom line. Shop around, do your research, look at your Amazon reviews, and uh, and you can buy something nice. You want to take a step up from the mora knife of course you have something like this se azula which i've carried for years and still comes with me on every expedition um, this knife here as well as the uh, swiss army farmer and the backhoe laplander covers about 95 percent of my needs thanks for watching y'all